Hi everyone, Melissa here. Um, today I am back to do my second birthstone mani for the month of June. I really wanted to do like a pearl design for June, but I didn't want to do anything that was just your basic white pearl kind of design because I do have a dip that chromes out just like that, but I've done it before and I didn't want to just go with your standard pearl design. So as you can see, what I've decided to do today requires a lot of different colors. I, I know you're probably saying, Melissa, that's not pearl, but what I'm doing today is abalone pearl. So I'm gonna try and create an abalone pearl design using um, just dip powder. I am gonna be using some gel base to um, achieve this look. Uh, as well as dip liquids so it's gonna be a nice mix of everything but I have all these colors open because it would just take me so long to open them on camera so I'm just gonna go over what colors I have I have um, double dips dancing flamingos it's a really great coral color there's just gonna be little touches of that in in the design I have double dipped Irish eyes pure imagination um, sparkling co shamrocks and shenanigans Ariel's Tail from Double Dipped, Peep from Double Dipped, Oh My Blurple from Double Dipped, and then this is just a deeper kind of bright blue uh, pigment that I got in a pigment kit off of Wish. I've got a bunch of different pigments. This is one of them. I'm just using it to add a little bit more color and depth. So to start, um, I'm going to be doing the design on this nail. I'm going to be doing kind of a color blocked half design on this one. So um, I'm just going to First, I'm going to dip out my normal colors. So for this, the colors I'm going to be using on my nails themselves, I'm going to use Shamrock and Shenanigans and Oh My Blurple for the solid colors. So I'm going to go ahead and put those colors down on my nails and then I'll get into the rest of the everything. Okay, so I got those solid colors put down. Now for these two nails, I am going to go ahead and um, block out where I'm going to be doing the color block because I'm going to put a single dip of Shamrocks and shenanigans on the nails underneath the areas where the abalone is going to be so I'm going to start by doing a layer of just base on the nail so that First layer can dry because it dries quickly when it's on top of the peel base I have on my nail Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a single coat of our shamrock and shenanigans on this nail. Okay, and then I'm going to be using my, I love this um, color blocking tape for nails because it is nice and thin so you can get uh, nice thin designs with it plus it sticks to the nail well and it comes up easily so I'm just going to go ahead break off a little piece here and put it down where I want the blocking to be. Now I'm gonna be doing the abalone on this side of the nail and I want it to cover the majority of the nail, so probably about two thirds. And then the other two thirds will be, oh my blurple. So I'm just gonna try and put this down as straight as I can. And I'm gonna do just the single layer of shamrock and shenanigans right here. The reason I do this single solid layer underneath the design is because of the method we are applying these colors. It could leave um, blank spaces that might show the bare nail this way. If there are any blank spaces between colors, all it's going to show is more of one of the colors that's in the design. And I usually tend to pick one of the mid-range colors in the design to do this. Okay, so now for the fun part. Now I practice this design a few times. Every single time I do it, I do it a little bit differently. I keep just adjusting it because I'm like, mm, I could, it could, it could get just a little bit better. I could, it could get a little bit better. And I'm, I, I feel like I could continue doing that forever. Honestly, with this design, I feel like I could just keep going and going and going and changing it up and I'm like I'm just changing it forever so it's like you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it and it's gonna turn out great and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep changing it I'm just gonna go for it so here we are 
Okay, so I'm gonna be using my um, gel base from Double Dipped and I'm just gonna be dropping a little bit down into here so that I can use it with my brush. I'm gonna do a couple different spots in case one of them gets heavily pigmented. I can go to a clean one so that it doesn't change the color that I'm working with. So I'm going to start kind of by use this and I'm gonna to go to Irish eyes here. So I just dipped the brush into the base and then into the powder so that it picked up some powder. And I'm gonna kind of just start drawing on some lines in the in the design. Um, you know, abalone pearl has kind of these like dark, um, like black lines in them, and to me it seemed like the darker colors in in the design matched up with those lines. So that's what I'm starting with, and just kind of planning down. Um, where those lines will be in the end and the rest of the colors are going to fill in around that. Okay, I'm going to grab more of the base and I'm going to go into this pigment here and just add a little bit more darkness and um, just kind of deepen the color of that because these dip powders they they water down pretty easily with the gel liquids so see this will add a little bit more and I don't even really need to go in for more base because I have some base on the nail. We haven't cured this, so it's still wet. So you just bring the pigment onto here and it'll kind of just seep into the base. So I'm brushing, or I'm wiping that brush off. And I'm going to come in with some of the lighter colors now. So I'm going to go with my teal here and start coming in along the side. It's filling in those empty spaces with other colors so and these colors will kind of mix together a little bit some of it will bleed into the other and that's perfectly fine I kind of want that to happen For another color I'm gonna go for Shamrocks and Shenanigans. I really like this one in here because it has a little bit of a gold shimmer. It kind of almost gives that pearly vibe. Okay and now is what I would consider kind of like highlighting because I filled most of it in with the colors that were there. So I'm going to come in with Peep here and we're just going to add a little bit of yellow to just kind of give a, like a brightness in some areas. And then I'm going to do this coral over here in my Dancing Flamingos again at just a little bit. I don't want a ton and I'm just going to kind of throw some pops of color in here. Okay, and I'm gonna cure that where it is. Okay, next I'm gonna do a couple dips of clear over both of these. So I'm just gonna be careful not to get the base, um, the dip base past this line. So I'm gonna try and make sure I paint it just on this part and do a couple layers of clear over here before I fill in the rest of that color block. Okay, now I'm just gonna get the rest of the color down for this side. I am gonna go ahead and put another piece of tape down just along the edge here to help um, because this is a pretty small space, a pretty small area to freehand. So I just wanna be sure that I get that nice and clean.
Okay, so I'm gonna pull straight up to get that off. So now I'm just gonna activate everything so that we can file all the nails smooth and then we'll finish with the final details to create the abalone look. Okay, so I've got those filed. I'm just gonna wipe these two nails down with alcohol swab just so I can see the design a little bit better so that I can work a little bit more on it. I'm going to be using my, I'm just gonna be using a regular number two pencil I've sharpened to a nice point here. And then my 0.3 millimeter uh, micro line, micron pen, you could use uh, 0.25 millimeter, just something with a nice fine tip. I'm going to, using the pencil, I'm just gonna start tracing along kind of in that area where those blue lines are, and we're just gonna deepen that with them. And you don't want it to be a perfect line, you kind of like scratch it out, kind of uh, blend it out a little, go in one direction. Okay, then I'm gonna come in with my micro line and we're just going to right at the center of where I did that with the pencil. We're gonna come along and just make an even deeper, heavier, or not heavier, but darker line with the pen. Okay, like I said, I could keep fussing with it and fussing with it and fussing with it, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it at this and try not to overwork this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a um, layer of dip base over both of these to seal in that color. I mean, to seal in the lines, not the color. I think I'm gonna do a little nail tape down, just down the center of this one. I think I'm gonna do this kind of coppery, more coppery color. I think it goes with the colors I used a little bit better. So I'm gonna go with this. You know, nail tape is an enemy of everybody, but I'm just doing one strip. I did order some uh, nail strip decals that I'm waiting for, I'm really excited for, because uh, I think it's going to make this entire, you know, kind of design style a little bit easier, but gel base down. I don't want to, um, I don't want to strip the color off of these nail tapes. These nail tapes with color on them tend to strip off, so I'm just going to do a small line down the center here that will encase the nail tape strip. And hopefully protect it from that. Okay, I'm gonna cure that in place and then I'll clip off the end. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and activate and top coat all these. Right, and there we go, the finished product for our second Burstow nail for June. Let me know what you think about my abalone design. Um, if you wish that I had done something else for June, maybe I can throw something else in. We'll see. But just let me know what you think below, and as always, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.